Minister of Education Patrick Farber has been traveling the country to meet with stakeholders in education. Since 2008, when he became Minister of Education, Faber has been doing this exercise annually in an effort to meet with stakeholders and dialogue on how to keep improving education in the country. So far, he has been in San Pedro Town, San Ignacio, Belmopan, and last night he was in Orange Walk Town. Faber said that while the turnout has been positive, the minister would like to see more participation of a key stakeholder, the parents. Turnout has been overwhelming, although I will admit that the, there are some missing elements in terms of the stakeholders. For instance, uh, the turnout here in Orange Walk, in terms of parents, was about um, maybe 15 or so parents, and that is the, the, the record number of the four that I've done so far. In San Pedro, the turnout of parents was very low. In San Ignacio, there was one parent last night, maybe there were about 10 to 12. Uh, Orange Walk has really led the way, but it's not nearly sufficient to what we should be seeing in a district that has 50 schools, for instance, uh, a handful of parents is, is not a true representation of that stakeholder group. While I'm pleased with the turnout from teachers and from principals and even to some extent the management, I am terribly concerned still that we're not getting to all of those stakeholders, that includes the parents, the businesses, the community at large, uh, who all have a role to play uh, in our fight to fix education in this country. Well, why is it that you think that parents are not coming out and participating? Well, I think that there are barriers uh, in a number of ways, uh, but also the parents need to, to take it seriously and to understand that they, they have a role to play in education. But as I said to so the, the, the majority teacher audience tonight, uh, an obstacle may be that the teachers don't make it uh, accommodating for our, our parents. They, they feel intimidated when parents are demanding accountability and so on. And so I caution them tonight that if we are clamoring for parental support, that we need to be ready, we need to be accountable as, as teachers in the classrooms uh, so that when people start asking questions and start demanding that accountability, that we can be responsive to it. What we will do in the ministry, and I have taken this on as my personal initiative, I am waiting for the new school year to begin and I'll wait for the September celebrations to finish and I will come back to each municipality and where we need to double up like in Belmopan and San Ignacio, San Pedro and Kikaka and Belize, we will double up and we will make a call specifically to parents and ask them to do their part, recommend ways but also ask for suggestions as to how we can improve their involvement in education. During the forum, Faber highlighted accomplishments of the ministry and presented the direction the ministry wants to take. One of the areas the ministry is looking at improving is assistance it gives in putting children in high school and keeping them there till completion. Since 2008, a subsistence of $300 has been assisting 7,000 first and second form students across the country. Farber said the ministry is not only looking at expanding this assistance to third form students, but also hoping to make high school education free. And then of course you know that uh, the Prime Minister did announce a furtherance of that program. I, I think he announced at the time of elections an increase to 350, which um, I'll tell you will change around a bit to now uh, keep at 300, but we will try to uh, extend it to third form so that third farmers can benefit from the $300 subsidy. I will say though that that can't happen for this school year. And so while there might not be anything immediately in the pipeline, uh, parents who are struggling in that regard can look forward to some assistance at third form. And as I explained tonight, it is my intention to push for secondary education in this school to be uh, free. Uh, I say that free in quotations, of course, because uh, some will argue that no matter what you do, uh, there will be some other kind of fee that is brought up. And I'm, I'm appealing to management of schools as well to help us to bring down the cost of education. And so we're asking stakeholders to help us to relieve them of that burden in, in as much as they can by eliminating wastage and, and by being more efficient. In order for the ministry to carry out programs like this, Farber said there is a need to tighten the belt and put to better use the existing resources in the ministry. Reporting for Love News from Orange Walk, I'm Arturo Cantun.